everyone, I hope you're well. It's Leanne here, the owner and founder of Trail Goddess. So um, I'm actually going to be this weekend to my first race of 2024. I can't actually believe it. This is probably the first year in a long time that I have got to halfway through the year and not done any races. So the last one that I did was in November and that was an ultra um, in Tweed Valley, which is kind of the borders of Scotland and England um, and I absolutely loved it. It was such a great race. Um, it worked out about 55k in the end. It was supposed to be 50k but never is, is it? So yeah, um, I just thought it would be great to take you all um, down to uh, my first race of the year and that is Ullswater Way 20. Um, so that's organised by Epic Events and it's a mountain sponsored event. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I believe there are lots of kind of scenic views around Ullswater and of course the likes of High Street and Hildellan, is that how you pronounce it? I'll probably get absolutely slaughtered for that because I know Scottish people <laughs> always slaughter the English YouTubers for um, their lack of pronunciation. So um, yeah, I think it's Hildellan, um, but yeah, please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going down with two of my friends later this afternoon. We're going to drive down there and stay at an Airbnb. Um, I think we're about 30 minutes from the start in Glen Ridding. Um, and I think that um, the actual route takes you from Glen Ridding anti-clockwise around Oswater Way. Um, and we pass through Pooley Bridge, kind of 10, 11 miles into the route. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been wanting to run in the Lake District for years. Um, I tried to get into the, the Lakeland 50 um, in the ballot, but unfortunately I was unsuccessful. Um, so yeah, this was a kind of second choice um, race for this time of the year. And I think it'll be a really good training run for the ultra that I've got coming up in August. Uh, it's the 20 miler. So there's an ultra distance, 20 mile distance and 10 distance. But I believe the 20 mile is actually 21 and a half miles. So my longest training run, run was about 18 miles. So I'm feeling okay about that distance. I've done a video on my fueling strategy, which you'll be able to, to find on the page. So how I'm going to keep myself fueled to last um, for the 21 and a half miles that I'm expecting. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to do anything any different tomorrow um, to what I would do normally in terms of fueling. Um, I've been practicing that since early last year for the ultra and I've just kept it pretty much the same with a few tweaks here and there. So if you want all the detail on my nutrition strategy and, you know, please be aware that that's personal to me and it's not for everyone. So I'm not here to give out advice on nutrition or training or anything like that at all. I'm just sharing my personal experiences and what works for me. So check that out if you're interested. Um, also on the topic of uh, checking things out, please uh, visit the Trail Goddess website where um, we have a wide range of vibrant, fun, performance wear uh, and accessories, which are exclusively for women. Um, so today I'm wearing the signature gold hoodie. Uh, which I absolutely love this colour and it's probably one of our best sellers. Um, you can just see the logo I think on the back. So yeah, I'm going to wear this just now. I might change into the lilac one a bit later on, but myself and two of my friends, we're all going down, so we're going to be representing a uh, true goddess. But yeah, please check out the website. Um, I'd be really grateful if you did that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Your support just means so much to me. And thank you very much. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll keep you all updated along the way. Um, be taking you down through the Airbnb where we're staying and the start. And I maybe film a little bit of the race. I don't think I'll film the whole thing. I think it's just better to kind of relax and enjoy the day um, and enjoy the kind of time on the trails. So I'm not going to film at all, but I am hopefully give you a little snapshot of what the race is all about. So yeah, I hope you'll all join me and I'll catch you all soon. So it is almost 8 o'clock and we've just arrived at our accommodation, the Airbnb in the Lake District. It's called uh, Bampton News and it is absolutely lovely. There's um, some lovely little sheep 
outside just in the garden. A bit random, it's just so nice though. Um, and just lovely country lanes and it's just so well kept. Lovely. And uh, this is the Airbnb. It's got beautiful beams. Um, clearly a barn conversion. Um, yeah, just really lovely. Um, so we're going to just put on some food, have some pizzas and chill out. There's actually a fire there that we can get going. Um, yeah, so it's quite a haunted house vibes going on. We spotted a little grandfather clock in the hallway that's <laughs> not working. Stuck at 1am, so we're wondering if it'll pop into life at some stage. Um, and yeah, girls are just getting busy in the kitchen. So it's about 10 o'clock and we've had dinner and started to pack our things for tomorrow. Getting the race packs all ready. Um, yeah, just kind of having a wee chat and a chill and tidying up after dinner, but the cottage is really beautiful. Um, you can see just the garden and there's sheep that come right up to the wall. So yeah, it's lovely. Such a nice night actually, the sky is beautiful. So yeah, just getting organised for tomorrow. Nutrition all laid out, bags all packed and up and early uh, out to get, uh, get to the registration and get our race numbers. So yeah, looking forward to it. Hoping to sleep tonight. five miles in, um, about 700 odd feet in elevation so far, just having a little walk up to this little gate and some feeling but it was a really hectic start um, but some really nice people and chatting and the route's stunning so really enjoying that and yeah it's not long to go to Pilly Bridge and we're halfway there so just keep going. some sort of coastal path that was pretty obvious <laughs> I made that far to the Spot. Checking out the views, what a glorious day it's turned into. So we are just uh, sitting about seven miles and over a thousand feet elevation. Um, sticking to the feeling strategy which is good but feeling slightly um, tired. Probably down to not the best sleep um, and the drive but um, it's not stopping us and we're really enjoying the views today, it's just beautiful. So, seven, eight, nine, four miles ish to Pulley Bridge and hopefully a sandwich or something because I'm actually hungry. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it so far. Views are just stunning.
spent four and a half miles done. All sorts of wee, I've spent about it all. Um, but what a beautiful day, absolutely stunning and really enjoyed it. But yeah, tired now. So yeah, going to get some food and back in the car. Um, but yeah, what a great day. It was hard. It was really hard, but we can do hard things. Very, 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 very,